Hey guys, Photoshop Pro help here and today I'm going to be showing you how to really whiten your skin and really go for that high key effect. Now as you can see this is the original image and we haven't yet applied our effect. So I'm going to go and show you what the effect will look like. So we're going to go and apply it. So here it is right here and it's really brought most of the colour out of the skin but it's brought in the shadows and really gone for that high key effect. So this works great on self portraits and it will work just as well if you have plenty of other people within the pictures. And you can really play around with the settings. If you have a high definition image, it will work brilliantly. If you have a standard one, it, will, it won't it will work as well, but it will give it a good kick. So we're going to go and play around with this now. So it only takes three steps, only three adjustment layers. So we're just going to go and hide that. And we're going to go to the bottom right hand side now. And we're just going to go to this little circle that's black and white. Click that. And we're going to go and play around with the channel mixer. Click that. And all we're going to do is make sure that we have monochrome clicked on. And that really takes all the color out of the image. So we're going to go and hide that and go and duplicate this layer twice. So we can do that by going to Control and J or Command and J if you have a Mac. So do that twice. And then we're just going to go and hide those top two and play around with the first layer. So for the first layer, we're just going to go bring the opacity to around about 32%. And all we really want to do is just bring down the skin tone just so she's pale, but not too much that the color's going too much out of it. Now, once we've done that, we're going to go and bring on the next layer. Click that. And we're going to go and bring the color, the blending mode to screen. And this really brightens the image up, but it's brightened it too much. So we're going to go and bring the opacity to around about 20 for this. But as I said, play around with it. Each image is totally different. So we want to brighten it up, but not too much. So I'm just going to go and show you what it looks like. A lot brighter. And I'm going to go bring in our next layer. So unhide that. Double click that. And we're going to go and change the blending option to soft light and we're just going to go and play around with the constant and as you can see it really makes it darker and it brings in the color a bit more so i'm going to go for around about minus 58 for this but really play around with this so all we want to do is really bring in the shadows bring in that color a bit more and as you can see that is the job done that's all we have to do and that's really easy to get that really high class key look so we're just going to go and group these together so hold down control on your keyboard or command if you have a mac and go and select all three and then control and g or command and g if you have a mac to group them and you can really just play around if you want to change the settings because these are all adjustment layers so you can just go back in and change them if need be now i've done this to this image and there is a few others so let's go and have a look at the others what they've turned out like so there's this one so as we can see it just paled it down and really brought in the uh, dark tones and the shadows and we're really going to go to this next one so if we just take off and this one was quite vibrant but it was a bit too tacky for my liking so it was a bit too um, in your face and we really wanted to bring that luxurious feel into the image so we just toned it down and this is what it ends up like so it really depends on your taste you can play around with the settings just get it just right um, but you can have a lot of fun with this so that is a simple technique to try out so go and play around with it and let me know if you do need any help so that's about it go and play around and please check out my website please comment rate and subscribe and go check out the new facebook page and the new google plus page on my channel and i'll see you next time guys bye for now